airplane hits those waves, that's what you feel. There's nothing dangerous about it. Absolutely for for sunglasses or for glasses, and it has the same compartments. And put in, put on a beautiful seat, dude. This is. You do like a pre-flight, uh, you know, procedure. So. So is this a bagger? Obviously, every bagger has to have, yeah, bags. So Harley made made a bagger, a small bag out of this. Put on nice little bags. I love them, and I added my own touch with the tour pack. But I'm still, still, still lacking some storage area up front. Like for example, here, take a look at my electric glide. Electric glide. Every time you come over, where did I put the key fob? You know, I put the key fob in here or put my glasses or whatever. On the road glide, there are two little cubbies on the sides. Lower uh, lower fairings usually have uh, cubbies over here. So there's always always an option for storage in the front, but over here, it's a problem. There's, there's simply nowhere for me to put the keys. Nowhere for me to put the keys. I don't wanna put the keys in my pocket. I don't want it to be in the back, in the bag. So there's a problem, we need to solve it. Before we even dive into this video, I just want to talk about uh, yesterday's video. It was a really, really nice video. It was the raffle, the raffle for the uh, Sportster Iron 883. And you know, some videos, they're like big hitters, a lot of views, you know, people watching it, and they're just, just nice, but they don't do anything you know, for me personally. And sometimes there's those uh, videos that that relatively not not a big great video in terms of how many people are watching it but it actually made me feel great and yesterday's video that raffle was one of those videos the whole the, the whole experience first of all making the video doing the raffle and then calling the winner jose speaking to him and then watching the live not the live but the premiere on tv so that's how i conduct this is where i write my uh texts like my conversation text this is where I watch it on TV. And I'm not gonna show wifey, but wifey over here sits with me, Pico over there, and me here. Today is the big day, the raffle day. No, man, you're the winner. You're the winner. You're the winner. Yeah, I'm not kidding, dude, I'm not kidding. I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, right, obviously, right? It was it was really cool. It was really cool, and I like for hours after that, I had this great feeling of, of giving. And this is pretty much what YouTube is all about, you know. To me, it's it's about this journey, about this thing we're doing, and making, sharing, making people happy, making people enter, you know, entertaining people, and building this this nice community around us. And that video and that you know that whole experience was was one of them. So. Highly recommend that you go at the end of this video, watch that video. See, every time I do a video, I need to move things around, take my car out, take the bike out. And I literally just got in the other day. I landed. It was a, it was a nice, it was a nice flight. Take a look. No, that's it. We're over Switzerland near Zurich. Look at these, look at these lakes. Amazing lakes. Look how blue the water is. That. Oh, you can see the Alps right here. Look at the Alps. You see that? Those are the Alps. That whole bridge. This is beautiful. Oh my God. I'm, I'm at friends in Israel. I'm at a friend's house where- Not friends. Not the the parents. Yeah, yeah, they're not really my friend. Maya, no, remember Maya. So his uh, parents, in, his in-laws have this beautiful, beautiful apartment in Tel Aviv area. 
And look at the views over here. We're like, I don't know, 14, 14 uh, stories up. This is Tel Aviv area. Every flight starts with the same procedure. You check the cockpit. You do like a pre-flight, uh, you know, procedure. So that's where I'm starting now. I'm heading home. I've been here where you guys were out in Laconia and uh, Lake George. Two hours into the flight, nothing really interesting here. Currently we're over Romania. Romania, we're heading westbound. Europe is pretty quiet, seatbelt signs are on. Plus there's, there was a little bit of turbulence. Turbulence is not dangerous in case uh, some of you are worried or just uncomfortable, that's it. It's just, think of it of, uh, like, you know, sailing in a boat with a little bit, or in the ocean with a little bit waves every once in a while. That's all it is. The air is not still. The air is turbulent. There's, there are waves of different winds in the air. It's in the mass of air. So when the airplane, airplane hits those waves, that's what you feel. There's nothing dangerous about it. It's just uncomfortable, that's all. Right there, there's a place called Goose Bay. Goose Bay, during the winter, it's all ice and snow. Nothing to there, which reminds me of a joke. I once landed over there and I asked, I asked one of the people that serviced the airplane, what do you guys do here all year round? So he says, well, well, during the summer, it's fishing and fucking. And in the winter, no fishing. There it is. That's Goose Bay. There's only 8,000 people, 8,000 people living here. Look how pretty it is. No, not one person here. It was fun, it was fun. Got back and headed towards the video. See that guy? That UPS truck? Every day he's at my house two, three times. And he came up with the solution. He brought what I was looking for. I finally got, I found these two items on Amazon and they hopefully will solve my problem. Let me show you what I just got. Before I even dive into what I have in this box, let me tell you how I came up with this, uh, this idea. It was not my idea. The other day I had Frankie Bones come over with his low rider ST in vivid black and he showed me what he had you were gonna do wow it. look at this i got frank over here came over to look at my bike but anyway look at this beautiful beautiful lowrider st this one is vivid black and he put in put on a beautiful seat dude this is this is really nice i definitely need to put a seat on mine what the seat is that a saddleman what uh, saddleman step up that's the step up can I sit on it to see yeah, if it's comfortable? Yeah, go ahead. Wow, thank you. Dude, this is, this is, I love this bike. I just love this bike. Oh, and you put the uh, mini, floor. mini, mini floorboards, thrashing support. If you don't have those, I highly recommend them. It's a beautiful bike. It's just a beautiful bike. I, I fucking love it. Right? It's so cool. It is so cool. So I had to, I just had to bring the, the two bikes near one near each other. Oh, look at look how nice they look together. Two totally different styles. I'm going for the more ST. I'm going towards the touring touring aspect of the ST. He's going for the sports look. Badass. They look badass. Wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. That's where 
where I got the, the great ideas. So Frankie Bones, thank you so much. Oh, isn't that a cool lineup? Two bikes, really, really, really. We just got them pretty much at the same time. I took my uh, bike towards the uh, touring, touring direction. He did his towards the sports, but he actually showed me this item and I ordered it yesterday on Amazon. Amazon, the next day I got it so fast. That's one thing I love about Amazon. Now, since I was not sure if I want uh, the smaller or the big one, I got both. And this is what it is. It's the Thrashing Designs handlebar pouch, I would call it, handlebar bag. I got both sizes. This is the smaller one. Let me show you the bigger one. This is a bigger size uh, handlebar bag. You can see the difference. The reason I got this one, I thought I might want to have it is because it has, first of all, it's uh, wider. It's got, it's, it would fit more, but it has an extra pretty much zippered front case that is padded with some kind of fiber, you know, a uh, microfiber cloth. So you can put your glasses, you can put your glasses right in there without uh, being scratched. So that's something nice. Let me put, let me mount both of them up front and I'll have a link down by the description, that little triangle pointing down, that little arrow. Click that, the menu will open up and you'll see links where you can actually pick up the same thing. I think it was like $59 for the small one, $69 for the big one. So the big, oh, this is a small bag. Small bag comes with a outer pocket, I guess for change, for small stuff, keys maybe. And then there's these loops. There's this system, I forgot what it's called. They call it, uh, what do they call it? Mole webbing system. And that's why they have all these extra straps. But the main thing, the most important, is actually the two, the two straps that will go on the risers or on the handlebars. And I've seen the online pictures or videos where you can actually mount them. I think on, on a, some of the options is to mount them this way. And in my case, I'm gonna be mounting it like this. Obviously, I'm not gonna be using the straps on the bottom. Uh, and this inside has like one main compartment then smaller compartments for, I don't know, tampons, <laughs> I don't know, pens, I don't know, who knows. And this is like the main compartment for the bigger items and then another side. And let's look at the bigger one. But it is bigger and it's got, like I said before, an outer pocket that is built, made absolutely for, for sunglasses or for glasses. And it has the same compartments inside, but as I said, it's, it's a bigger, it's a wider, wider case. Hey, I think about you at night, I want you here with me. So that's what it pretty much looks like when it's mounted. And think about it, that is gonna be moving around, maybe touching the fairing. I don't know, for me, it looks a little bit too big. This whole area is a little bit too crowded. Let me put the smaller one on. Okay, I think you guys know where this is going. This is gonna be the one I'm gonna take the smaller one. Now let me mount it on properly and show you the functionality of it. Let me, the choice has been made. I'm taking the smaller one. Two straps, two straps on each side. I'll do the second one over here. There you go, very nice. Let me show you. Let me show you the functionality. And even the phone can go in. That's it, very pretty, actually pretty cool. Put this, this, there you go. Problem solved. Thank you guys for watching. I'll have a link down by the description. If you want this thrashing supplies, you can buy it from them. You can buy it through Amazon. I think it's the same price. When you do buy it through Amazon, I get a small percentage. It doesn't come out of your pocket. I get it from Amazon, so I appreciate if you go to, down to that link. Thank you again. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Yeah.